the dual monarchy and the emperor welcome back to the eastern front my friends i have audio that bloody windows update screwed my settings but i fixed them so welcome back to tannenberg friends where we appear to be coming across against the dastardly russians again i've taken up with my well bulgarian is my favorite faction but i do have a soft spot for the Just panic fire for the Austro-Hungarians. I've always felt they were an unappreciated faction in the First World War. Oh dear, the Russians are a bit furious today with grenades and fire. I have a dark feeling that this is going to be the trend of this battle. But anyway, we're, we're going to be real Austrian heroes today. And very, very, very veterans of the channel will know that that's a very old channel reference. Anyway, right, let's take this train. So why am I playing with the Austrians? Well, oh, uh, because of this pistol, actually. Uh, as I said, I've been putting some bids on some antique firearms for my antique firearms option. And one of these is on the listing. Sadly, I don't have my pistol license to get it, but I was kind of like, I want that. I know what that is. That's a First World War 1917 issue, one of these pistols. Me wanty. But it's not about money, because thankfully I'm actually well paid these days. It's more about the fact I don't have my pistol license. Uh, although even if I was in America, apparently, you'd still have to pay for licenses and shit. Fuck you, um, alcohol. What is that? Alcohol, tobacco, and firearms? ATF. Fuck you, ATF. But yes. So we're playing the Austro-Hungarians because of this pistol. Because the Austro-Hungarians are going to feature it in Isonzo when that finally comes out. And because I have a soft spot for the Austrians. Also, I took that guy's bloody head off and I don't feel good about myself. Damn it, that was my first shot missed. Oh, bastard. I was on a real good roll there. I was just sort of... Like James Bonding, one shot headshot sort of thing. Damn it, you. F All right, idiots. This is called uh, defend the position. All right, we need to defend this position. You're all good. Okay. So let's pick up the machine gun. There we go, short control bursts. I was having trouble f distinguishing enemies and the friendlies in the haze. Nicely done. All right, friends. What else have I got? Binoculars and a sword. Oh, that's actually funny and convenient because I actually bought myself a sword um, the other day. I bought myself a... Ah, it's a bit of a long shot. I bought myself a Portuguese Army Cavalry Sabre, uh, 1880. Although it was made in England, and it was based off the 1821 pattern of English Cavalry Sword. So, um, not bad. As I say, it's quite a heavy... Quite a heavy um, sword. It's a cavalry weapon, so it's designed to be used on horseback, but... Hey, I've always wanted a sword, so I got myself a sword. One day I'd love to be able to custom forge my own sword. Uh, but you know, that's dreams for the stuff. Alright, you're a German. Alright. Alright, we're pushing up the trail, the railway line troops. I'm paranoid about... Where is the enemy fire coming from? There he is. Cover, down, ah, yeah, without support, and that one German that was advancing with me was killed. Alright, how are we looking? We're holding a bulge in the centre. Let's see if we can push on the monastery. Prefer churches to monasteries? Sounds a little bit too heathen, monastery. 
Um, sir, support. Who had the fucking radio? One of you idiots had... There you go. Um... One shell, ooh, 120 millimeter. Um, Corps on the forest just before. Hit them with artillery and then move in. Alright, moving in. I bloody thought they were fucking Austrians for a second. Just as I pulled the trigger, I realized that they were bloody Romanians. Stop having your uniforms the same fucking colour, people. Can't we go back to the Napoleonic Wars? Everyone had a colour. The French were blue. You know a Frenchman by his blue uniform. British were red. If they had red uniform, they were British. If they had like a sort of a beigey white uniform, they were Austrian. You knew one of ours? I think you are. If they had a brown uniform, they were Russian. How are you not hitting those guys, even though you've got a machine gun? Why is my pistol more accurate? Silly Austrians. Uh, if they had a grey uniform, they were Prussian. See, that makes sense. You can understand that. Alright. Reload. See, we should have to go back to simple uniform coloration. I mean, that would make life so much easier. Not the people being shot, but you know, it would make shooting them easier. All right, push up, troops. All right. Let's just push in. All right. Paranoid about being sniped. Alright, good work, troops. Alright. Get up into higher ground. Just to protect me from enemy fire. See? Tactics. Wish I had a rifle. Actually, Using these binoculars is retarded because it's just going to leave me getting shot. Hmm. Eh, not a bad machine gun position as they go. Ooh. Fuck. Yep, I had a feeling we'd be, I'd be get, getting shot at. Let's pull up my magical map. We're going to take the section, but. No, I want my troops with me. Good, okay. Now. Are you Austrian? You're Austrian, okay. That was embarrassing. Alright. Let's move it up, troops. We need to re-secure their center. Let the Germans hold the brunt of this attack. But yeah, there's actually quite a few Austrian weapons coming up in the auction. There's a couple of M95 rifles. There's this pistol. There's an Austrian First World War issue sword. I'm going to put a bid on the M95 rifle, I reckon. Um, see if I can get that. That would be nice for my collection. Damn, we're actually not doing too bad. Although, how are we letting Russians swarm us again? This pistol is such a heavy hitter. Like, I love the stopping power of this bloody thing. I love that it's heavy. I like that it's reliable. Um, the stripper clip thing is weird, but it's not the worst pistol design I've ever seen. And it's semi-automatic, and it's better than the revolver. But I've said it once, and I'll say it 10,000 times. The sights on this thing are fucking hideous. It's like staring down a brick with a little notch on it. It is horrible. As I said, I'm just aiming for like center body shots and letting the heavy round do the 
work for me. But it's not, not an ergonomically designed site. Fuck. Alright. That will give us some cover from the snipers up the top. Down. I could have actually killed everyone with that, but I didn't. Didn't have time. Still. See what I mean about the dropping power? Like one solid shot. And I have not not noticed the ragdoll corpses floating around. But one solid shot. All it needs to take someone down is to body mass. Artillery, hammer them. Artillery, hello, I called you up. Okay, thank you for missing Austrian artillery from where I was wanting you to land your shots. Holy crap. I have no idea who the hell's out there. Oh, shit. Okay, out of ammunition. We have binoculars and a sword. And there's like 100 yards of open ground. We either go back and get ammunition, or we charge out there like an idiot with our sword and trust and honor. Yes, I may be brave, but I'm not a fucking moron. Ammunition. Pistol, good. Sword, not good. Don't yell at me. Bullets, please. Okay, you don't have ammunition there. Uh, bullet, somebody. I don't know, don't want the machine gun. Um, bullets? Uh, ammunition. Ammu- Really? Napoleon said a war, an army marches on its stomach, but I think ammunition kind of helps. <laughs> Nicely done, Germans. Okay. Ah. See, running in a... I was trying to be tactical, get a bloody ammunition. But I wasn't. I was just caught running in the field like a moron. Um, hold on, 33 to 5, okay, that's a bad KD, just because of the sake of it should be like 33 to 3, I like a 10 to 1 KD when I'm playing this, but also, more importantly, only 33 kills? I feel like I've killed a lot more than that. Let's hope this rifle does us better. Now, as I said, this is the M95 rifle, the very same model, that's up for sale in that option, I want because my, I want to do a collection of every rifle from every major power in the First World War. And then once I'm done with that, and I've got my collector's license, I would like to do it for the Second World War. But the First World War is my immediate priority. So this will fill out the Austro-Hungarian um, requirement for my First World War collection. But there's actually, there's also a, a Turkish Morza for sale in the same auction that would actually, theoretically, fulfill... Ah! I managed to kill him with that shot, that was nice. I have one shot, I missed. That's on me. Although, the bolt being in the wrong position, I don't mean to be rude, but there's only two positions for a straight pull bolt rifle. Forward, and back. How was it, maybe it wasn't all the way back, but I call bollocks on that one. Alright. Good, I got him. Nicely done. That suppressive fire was actually quite brutal. That is why I fucking love this rifle. So see, this is probably the Martini Henry for the sake of the meme factor and the fact that if I'm able to kick your ass with a single shot rifle, then there's something wrong with you. Um, is why that's my favourite. But in terms of actual useful rifles, this is my favourite. 
The sights are not the best, the GW88-90. So I did a bit of research about it, actually. Interesting history of that thing. It's the 1888 rifle, but they redid the barrel and gave it an um, 1890-type sights on it. Hence the name GEW88-90. Uh, but this one, the M95, with that straight full bolt, is so much more efficient. And it's because of that. Five enemies charged in front of me, and I was able to just bang, 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 and get them all. There's no complicated up, back, forward, down bolt. It's just bang, 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 and bang. And that is why this thing is fucking sexy. Also helps that it is actually quite a nice looking rifle. Alright, pushing up, lads. If we can push up, we can deny their spawn point. We've got three rounds left in this thing. And I got blanked, unfortunately. Uh, could I have won that engagement? No, there was three enemies and I only had two shots left after I killed the first one. Not quite. Still, we're doing a good show for Austria. I mean, we've covered over half the field. And we're pushing them back. We're nearly at the howitzer. And it's just it's quite hard to actually get to that final yard. Okay, you're a German. You scared the ever loving bejesus out of me. Push up into the howitzers. Russians! Oh, that is why this fucking rifle is sexy. Holy crap, straight full bolt action. I know straight full did have a bit of a problem, and generally, a proper bolt action is actually a better system. But, gosh do I love the speed of this thing. You nearly could have got us all, actually, on that machine gun. Alright, ditch the five round. See, sometimes it, it kills your accuracy rating in terms of the game menus, because it counts as a wasted shot. But dumping that final round to get five rounds in is so much better for you. Come on, Austrians! Oh, Romanians on the hill! Oh, nice covering, nice covering. No! That fucker just manned the machine gun and fired. Damn it, we won't be able to take the gun in time. Oh, where's my support? We won, but I feel like it was a moral loss, a morale loss at the end there. Armour trains are still so cool, though. <sighs>